The Supreme Court on Wednesday fined Afe Babalola and Wale Onalik Pekun 30 million naira each for agreeing to file an application for the review of the APS Court's judgment on Bayelsa election. Justice Amina Oji announced the fine will while reading the judgment in the applications for a review of its February 13, 2020 judgment, which overturned the All Progressives Congress victory in the last governorship election in Bayelsa State. The justice regretted that the senior advocates were responsible for filing the applications. Subsequently, the APS court awarded the cost of 10 million naira to be personally paid by David Lyon's lawyer, Afeba Balola, and APC's lawyer, Wale Olani Pekun. It drew that each of the lawyers must pay the 10 million naira to each of the three respondents, the People's Democratic Party, Governor Dio Diri, and the Deputy Governor of Bias State, bringing the total amount to be paid to 60 million naira. She said the applications amounted to an invitation for the APS court to seat an appeal on its own judgment in violation of the Constitution. Justice R.G. held that it will amount to violating the finality of his judgment if the applications were granted. And joining me in the studio to discuss this further is legal practitioner Tunji Abdulhamid. Thank you, Tunji, for staying with us on News on the Hour. Now, what is your reaction to, to this ruling um, by, by, the, by the court? I'm very, very happy about it. Okay, why, because please, it, 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 we may it, ask. It is in line with my position earlier on, and I, I think it's a, it's a confirmation of the finality of the Supreme Court. In other, in other words, it leads to read all the, all, the, all, the, all the issues regarding a review. And, I'm, and I want to advise other people who have an application for review before the Supreme Court to either withdraw their, to, to quickly withdraw their application. You know, we are, we are, it's unfortunate that this uh, particular application was filed by uh, or were filed by senior lawyers, the respected lawyers in this country. I, I believe that they should have even rejected this application and tell their client the truth that, look, the Supreme Court decision, whether rightly or wrongly, is final and should be respected. Because if you continue to, just like the Supreme Court said, if you continue to refuse this, uh, these applications, if you refuse this one and they, they will say that, look, we, uh, we made an error, we're changing our decision, then the other party will also say, you made an, another error, please, you have to also refuse. In other words, I won't be an end to it again. No, they, 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 I'm not saying the Supreme Court may not, have, may not have made an error in the early judgment or whatever. Okay. But the, like I said, it's unfortunate. Whether, whether the, Supreme, the Supreme Court made a decision, whether rightly or wrongly, it's final. Okay. You, don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't. So the, the, the attempt to, to, to do otherwise is to undermine or erode and complete the, the finality of the Supreme Court. Now, do you think this judgment will serve as a deterrent to other people? I, I think it should, it should serve as a deterrent. I'm not even happy that the money is, uh, is, is too small. So I'm concerned because I know the money they will have collected for this brief will, will be more than that a, a, a month. And I think if they can extend this kind of a, a situation to other cases in court, not only in Supreme Court, they can, they, can, they can put it to other cases whereby once you file an application that is frivolous, you will be fined heavily as a lawyer to pay for it. Probably maybe the client will pay, but at least you are fined heavily on that. It, I think it will reduce all those frivolous applications being filed by lawyers in court. They will, lawyers will now be able to advise their clients appropriately without uh, 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 trying to, 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 to do otherwise. You know, I, I, I am happy about it because it, it, it gives the Supreme Court uh, the, 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 the respect. Okay, just, just, just before I let you go this evening, now many people did argue the fact that the deputy was the one who was um, caught with a case of falsification of documents that he should have been prosecuted instead of annulling entirely. The entire ruling wasn't, was, was against the government itself. What, what's your reaction it, to it's this? It's funny, it's funny. They are not looking at the law. Okay. What are the losses? The law says a governor is not deemed to have been duly nominated, a, a governor candidate is not deemed to have been duly nominated, except or unless he nominates another candidate as his deputy who will run together with him, which means they are, they are jointly together. Once, one, once your nomination, uh, the, the person you nominated has a problem, you have a problem. It's not like a relative. They say, look, we have, want to do a relative. We, have, we need four teams. And then you, after winning the, 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 the relay, they discover that the person who started your, 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 your or whatever relay or the last person who took up uh, your, your, your team uh, 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 as uh, one, one uh, error or the other, you, all, all of you will, will, will lose the medal or whatever you have won in that, in, that, in that competition. That is the way it goes. And that is law. They are not looking at the law. They are looking at the sent sentiment of it and they are looking at uh, uh, logic. Law is not about logic. Law is law. Law sometimes it may be, may be, may be harsh, maybe something, but that is law. Law is law. All right. Sunji Abdulhamid, thank you very much for staying with us on News on the Hour and for your contribution. Thank you for having me.